Okay, first roll. It is a one. Terror tokens, bright tokens, do not go off. Uh, which leads us to the killer phase. Dun, dun, dun. What's his MO? What's his movement? So he he's a direct. Okay. So he's going to be moving 2d10. Best result. Towards the, uh, yeah, towards the closest character. A four and a seven. Oh, uh, no. All right. Where's my measuring stick? So this is the new and improved knife, by the way. Uh, so it's 13 inches long. We have eight inches blade, which is your typical double move for a character with a four inch single move marked. You have a five inch handle, which is your typical move for a character like Alice. Uh, and then two inch width for things like jump scares. So he moves seven. She's gonna, it looks like, gonna take him right, oh, there's another fright token. There's another door back here that I boarded up. Uh, it's gonna take him, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right on the other side of here. All uh, right. Connor, do you know what size the, um, the tokens are? Which size, which tokens? The fright tokens? I guess that's a good question. I would say fright tokens. So that's fright tokens, so this is a, 32 mil base. Fright tokens yeah. are right over a 32 mil base. I don't know if you can see that on the I camera. I thought maybe was asking about the wound and injury tokens that I'm, that I'm not sure about. The measuring widget, if you order the Founder's Edition, you will get the measuring knife with your order. Um, okay, so he moves, and now it's character turn, yeah? Yeah, Matt. What was that? Characters turns. Yes. Okay. So he's moved. He's revving up the chainsaw. And we're playing on slasher difficulty. Yeah. So all the characters are going to gain a terror when they activate, and we add plus one to all fright token rolls when they activate. Ooh, it's gonna be brutal. Um, so these doors are barricaded, or is it just the exterior doors? It's the exterior doors. Okay. I think I'm just going to try to get out of this door real quick. All right, we'll see what happens. So Holden's going to take his first move up to the door. This combat is 12, and they're barricaded, so what are they? Negative 10? Minus 10. Okay. Minus 10. Alice is so going to use her encourage. So five or under, hold and break through this door. Ooh, three. Got it. Nice. All right. So Broke bust out already. It, bust it out of that door. I'll just move this camera over. There is a fright token right there, unfortunately. The music suddenly became triumphant. <laughs> Busted out of that door, and he moves in one inch. Right? Yep. Okay, that was holding. Did you give him his, uh, did you give him his additional fright token for activating near a fright token? I did not, which I think they all will get. Yeah, so they're right. gonna get Everyone one but from Alice. starting. And they're going to get one from that fright token being right outside the door. Okay. Ranger Sandy's gonna move. She's gonna first move her four. And then move her other four. And see if she trips, because she does have two fright. It's a one, she trips. She has one luck. I don't know if we want to use it now or not. No. Luck. I'm going to trip and take the injury. <laughs> okay. Uh, Seth. Run two, three. Yeah, she to, boy, she needs to lace up those boots tighter. One, two. Seth makes it basically to her. Let's see if he trips. That was the wrong dice. 14, does not trip.
Of course he doesn't. And Alice. Eight, nine, ten. So she can move five the first round, so I can just use the handle. Five the second round. Puts her right on top of that fear token. All right, that's all their movement. Well, and then you see if she trips. She does not trip. Thanks for the follow. No, so Demonic Beaver, uh, you, they, everyone got a Fright Token at the start of the round, or a Terror Token, and then everyone was within four inches of this one, except for Alice. Alice was back in the corner of this room, so she wasn't near enough to have that triggered through her. Uh, exclamation mark turn plus. Um, Connor, just so you know, I'm probably like... 10 or 15 seconds behind on the uh on chat no on the well but yes but also you're like what is the lag on this is about 10 15 seconds behind oh, i gotcha okay so i've tried to keep up with what you're doing but if i say something not smart while you're doing something that's, that's why. fair turn two fright phase Goes off on a sixer up. Wrong dice again. Here we go. It is a 10, so the fright tokens go off. Matt, we roll for the farthest from the characters. Closest. Closest. Closest, the characters. Closest You're adding one. Plus one to this roll from slasher mode. Mm. Closest is going to be Alice. She's basically on top of one right there. Uh, and it is going to be a. Four, move the character six inches, or move the token six inches towards the closest character. That's not the worst. Second is back here. Seven or eight, same thing. So it's gonna move into base contact with Holden. Four. Four is going to be move as well, because it's five. So that's going to move six inches. And the last one is seven. So seven goes up to an eight, which is still just moving. Yep. So that's going to go... Basically the echoing the sounds of, of the the chainsaw and the whistle are following the the characters. Oh man. Uh, okay. He's about to just go in and chop somebody up. I'm pretty sure. So because he's out of sight of the characters, he's going to get placed using his mo. Oh, that's right. His so, was direct, um, right? Yes, so he's going to be placed six inches away from the most characters, and then he's going to roll two dice and just head on in. So in this game, um, we've seen it a couple times before, but especially with buildings like this, uh, the killer will disappear and come back if if the, uh, the players, the characters, lose sight of him. And that's sort of to rep represent in your horror movies when people think they're safe and they get away and then then they it just comes out of the shadows or somewhere else so for the moment the sound of the chainsaw rumbles off they're outside just listening to the rain pattering on the old steel roof of astro mart and then the chainsaw barks to life and here he is just in front of them right around the corner in. i'm gonna i'm gonna have him actually come out from around this wall because i think that's kind of yeah. thematic all right uh, two die, take the best option. It's an eight. He's targeting Alice, so he moves nine inches, so he makes it. Oh, well, he contact. doesn't. So remember, he's slow and steady, so he never adds inches for their okay. terror points. 
just well, comes he, in, chainsaw rumbling, and gets there when he gets there. He rolls an eight anyways, so Alice is there. Uh, what's his first attack? <laughs> this... <laughs> So he's going to use his uh, his um, chainsaw, so it's various blades. So um, he has a combat of 15, but he crits on a, um, a 1 through 3 right now. Is that camera focusing? Can someone tell me in chat if that camera is focusing? Combat of 15, and it's a 1 through 3? Is a crit, yep. It's, it's a, a 9. The chain. All right, so he's going to hit her for four injuries and she's now also bleeding every turn until somebody does the the um let me take a look action on her um okay and then his second ability is gonna be wild swings yeah so he's just revving that thing around and that one is just all other characters not targeted by the various blades attack within two inches of the mutilated killer just take one injury two in this case so he makes a sweeping arc with the chainsaw. Hey, I, brought some, I think he might have just buried that right in her shoulder. All right, there we go. Oh, man. While asleep. So there aren't any light tokens to begin with. Seth does have a flashlight. Um, and there's also the knock and shout ability. That Is it within use. two inches of his model? Yeah. He just was a wild arc. I think they're right outside of two inches, man. Oh man, lucky them. And and yeah, they both are. I was saying that it's not focusing. Oh uh, yeah, I think I fixed it. Uh, don't know why. Just suddenly, just didn't work. All right, so where was I before I cut off? Crazy. Uh, so the wild swings had just missed everybody. Um. I think that's exactly where we left off. Perfect. All right. So I didn't get too far. Uh, we also, I'm leaving the music off because that was just too much. Everyone, well, everyone... asleep. I agree. Oh yeah, well, the counter does. He really likes how positive the Facebook group is. It's awesome. It's so fun. Uh, everyone in in the time that I was gone. I went ahead and moved to the character turn activation and uh, counter start. All right, counter should be on, Doug. And oh, no. distributed everyone's terror points. Oh, no, what? Wall of, Wall of Sleep says, I still blame Seth. He's joined the hate train. Oh, well, Ooh. it's Seth's fault. No visual. Brodson, what are you on? Can I get a couple uh, Seth emotes in the chat? <laughs> uh, Broadstone, if you're on Twitch, you might just want to reload the, uh, the screen real quick. Sometimes that happens to me too. I think we're, I think we're back across all platforms. So. I just saw the thing for Facebook to start, so All maybe right. if you were on that broadstone, I might have just taken a moment for it to kick back in. Um. All right, so I distributed everyone's terror points. Everyone got a ton of terror points. <laughs> so uh, Alice got one for activating and one for being within four inches here. Uh, Seth and. Ranger Sandy got two for, or three, one for activating on Slasher, one for being within four inches here, one for being with four inches here, holding up two, one for Slasher, one for being with four inches there. Um, oh, thanks for the luck, Jim. Seth is not Bay. Seth is the worst, but uh, Ranger Sandy is going to stand up for one. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hold her second activation. Willie doesn't like white, right? He does not. Yeah. Son of a gun. Have to use it. Have to use Seth. Uh, okay, so Seth is going to use his flashlight. Uh, uh, to, to place a light token within six inches. 
So he's going to place a light token. It's right here. And actually, that prevents people from gaining terror. Yeah, if they start their activation in it, so the people who would activate after him. Right, uh, so Alice actually doesn't get hers, so she's still at one. Yeah, Seth, Seth still will. Seth still will, and Ranger Sandy still will. So and... White Token goes off. It's going to push Willie back ever so slightly. Uh, and now... I'm going to have Ranger Sandy shoot him, I think. Oh, yeah. I think she's, I think she's gonna do it. Yeah, but at the end, the light tokens are, um, are a three inch uh, light source. And they have, uh, they come with the kit. They have on and off sides, black and gray. All right, so Connor, Alice, right all right. Alice is going to encourage Ranger Sandy on her shot. Ranger Sandy's combat is 15 with an encourage. It is now an 18. 18 or under goes off. It is an eight. Bang. Does two injuries to him. I have to double check that it does do two injuries because he might be mutilated. But I'll need Matt to get that. For now, we'll go with the two. Uh, thanks everyone who's stuck in in through the Chainsaw Willy power outage. Okay, so that's not good. What occurred here? Holden. Holden's gonna move four. And he's gonna fire. He's got a shotgun. Holden's combat is 12. It's on a 12 or under. Holden's gonna go. It is a 10. It goes off. Shotgun does D5 injuries. So I got a 5, so it does 2. Yeah, 2 injuries as well, unless that gets mitigated. You're right, I don't have items. Oh no. No. He did not. Which also means that Ranger Sandy doesn't have her pistol. Oh, uh, yeah, I totally forgot. Which also Good means... Doug. There's which no light. Also means Seth doesn't have a light. Okay, okay, okay. That's my fault. Sorry. Totally forgot about that. I got all caught up in the chainsaw. Yeah, because they've been abducted. That's one of the scenario special rules. Oh, they thanks for the light, Mary. Items or weapons. Uh, oh, man. Ah, oh, jeez. Ha, ah, Moya! <laughs> yes, they are! And that's sort of the... That's the fun of this scenario. This one is meant to be your grind house. Am I trying to get to the vehicle? Where's, where's my exit point for here? You just... By the end of turn 8, somebody has to be alive. So it might happen, might not. And they have to be out of the building. So we're lucky to get out of the building early. I just have to have First one turn. person survive until turn 8? Yep. Oh, man. Oh, jeez. Okay, okay, okay. Boy is, boy is saying, scatter, scatter! Yeah, Holden <laughs> moved for... Actually, no. Holden is going to see what's going on over here, and he's just going to he's gonna say, nope. And he's going to go this direction. Is this door barricaded, since it's an interior door? Interior doors are not barricaded, it's the exterior ones. Okay, so he moved four, and then he'll move another four. So like right there. Thanks, Massimo. I don't know if that's who you just think. Let's see if it trips. He does not trip. Okay. Back on Team Willy. Oh man, Dark Tower. Mm. Alice is gonna stumble away two inches. Uh, so, so right now Seth has zero kinds of flashlights still in the back of the car. This is why <laughs> Seth is the, the worst. Because without a flashlight, he's absolutely useless. Um, so that falls back. OK. 
cannot stay connected. You have uh, connected to our stream issues. Is that what's going on? He can die for this team. She falls back. Let's see if she trips. She trips three or under. Sorry, under her awareness. So she does trip. <laughs> Stumbles back, trips. It's sheer terror and panic at this point. Takes an injury and then will stand up. Uh, is he mutilated? Like if I... He is. If I shoot him, does it get reduced to one? Uh, yep, it reduces by two to a minimum of one. Mm. You don't care. Mm. Yeah, I think it's better if I just run then. Yeah, you want to get out of there. You don't want to mess around with Boxcar Willie. He is not for fighting. She's going to move to there. Seth is going to move to the other side of Alice and say, let me take a look. So it'll stop her bleeding at least. No, I, we didn't find guns. I forgot that that rule occurred. All right. So in short, Holden ran that direction. Seth went around, let me take a look, so she'll stop wearing, because she did actually gain another injury that round. Alice stumbled back, tripped, hurt herself, stood up. Ranger Sandy stood up and moved to the other side of Boxcar Willie. Yeah, he does hide behind the cheerleader. Classic Seth move. Uh, and that'll be the end of turn two. So if we can get turn plus to turn three. Seth just likes to look at her pom-poms. Oh, hey, this isn't that kind of stream, I mean. <laughs> what? She's a cheerleader. Rah, rah. We, uh... All right, so we're in turn three. Let me grab... And having a stream shut down after you spent, like, 30 minutes setting everything up... It's kind of frustrating. Kind of frustrating. All right. Okay. Oh, my son. Yeah, Brad's then. <laughs> yeah, Moya, it's pretty cool. You get to get to check out what's going on there. See a menacing boxcar Willie. Okay. Okay, turn three, fright tokens. Uh, so survive from the terror alone. Dun, dun, dun. Did you give them all their extra ones from slasher mode? I did. So originally we weren't because of the light token, but that. Yeah, I, I, I gave everyone everyone else. Um, They're looking pretty rough down there. I mean, I could see it from this top cam, and there's there's a lot of stress floating around. They go off. A lot of going on. We'll roll for this first one. It's an eight, so it goes up to a nine, which means Boxcar Willie is enraged. <laughs> which adds another two to his crit range, so he's uh, now a one through five on his crit. <laughs> uh, next one's a one, goes to a two, but it disappears, and that would be this one, I guess. Yeah, we're doing to the closest to the farthest. Next one's a four, so it's a five. It moves six inches. So this is going to move into base to base with Holden. And the last one is a eight, which means he gets even more enraged. But you can't get more enraged, so that's actually okay. Oh, and then this one goes away too. All right, now it's Willie's turn. Uh, do fright tokens move through walls? Yes. They are not impeded by terrain or walls, so they just straight line it. Mm, that's the wrong day. Willie's movement is a 9 or a 8, so he gets there. Mm. Who do you head towards, Connor? Alice. Oh, this... Right, because he, he aims for the most injuries, is that right? Yep. Yeah, so it goes for her. 15 plus... He adds one to his uh, his uh, combat skill for each point of terror on the character, so he's probably going to hit. 18. But is it's it a, a 1 through 5? Nope, it's a 9. So it doesn't crit. 
<laughs> I mean, it still does what four or three points of damage. It does four. Does four to her, and she's now massively bleeding again. Ah, uh, uh, wait. I think she's dead. <laughs> yeah, that's ten. That's ten. So Alice just Alice just got chainsawed right in half. Fresh meat. Uh, He's gonna want her in the smoker later. Rip Alice. <laughs> She'll just be put in the meat department over here. Oh, um, does Can he I get disappear? Can I hashtag smoke rings in the chat? Does he get no, it? No, he doesn't because he's, ne he's never sated. So uh, he just keeps going for more. Uh, and then wild swings, uh, Seth will take one injury. So I'll take two. two. Oh, man. So he gets caught across his little, his little stickly arm. Wow. <laughs> That's that's my flashlight well, actually, arm. <laughs> well, actually, it's an appendage. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, Marshall Dog. Choo choo chop. There it is. The first one. Choo choo um. chop. <laughs> okay. Uh, so that's his turn. Character turn now. I only have three to worry about, so that's a little bit nicer. Uh, how, what are we going to do? How are we going to, what is, what's my, what's my play? Thanks for the like, Oliver. Um, Oliver? Remember when they <laughs> activate, they're going to, they're going to gain a point of terror. Yeah, I know. Building up. Building up. Yeah, boy, a run, piggies, run! <laughs> I feel like Ranger Sandy can't leave Seth. She's got her ability. <sighs> she can tell Seth to get behind her. Yeah, that's what, that's what she's going to do. She's going to use her ability and move the killer into base to base. Oh. She She's will, heard a box car willy before. She will gain a terror point. Um, and then she'll. She's a good woman, that Sandy. She'll She's stumble like back. Uh, use her luck point. There we go, it does not trip. Stumbles back two inches. Just get that right there. A little bit of Seth in the background. Now Seth is just gonna run away. Yeah, he is. So Seth is going to gain his terror point and run six inches in the opposite direction. Or the correct direction, actually. <laughs> Let's see if he trips. Uh, he's got six terror points. Thirteen does not. Of course, uh, uh, don't even. Of course, he doesn't. Whatever, man. He's nimble. Yeah. Um, like a brick. Boy is saying, "Bang and shout, bang and shout." Get some light tokens going. Well, yeah. Just because you're so much better at me at this game doesn't mean you have to tell me how to play. All right, Holden's going to activate. He's within four inches, so he gains one, and then Slasher Mode gains another. And then, what's it? Is it by doors that I have to bang and shout? So you just have to be within two inches of a building to bang and shout, and then you can place a light token in contact. It has to be touching any exterior door. Okay. So I'm going to move him four inches and then bang and shout. Uh, uh, well, actually, Moya. Uh, knock and shout. There you go. A character within two. Ah, uh, really making it's him AOD. making an awareness test though, and his awareness is eight. Oh, it's a five. Way to go, Holden. And bang and shout, maybe he hits an electrical panel. Gives her a yeah, little just, bit of light. 
Perhaps he's just smashing light switches and things in there. Just hitting them with... Well, I guess he doesn't have a shotgun. This is so brutal. Uh, okay. That's either turn three. Can we get a turn plus? Go to turn four? Halfway done. Only one person dead. Yeah, but everyone else is about to die of fright. Well, could happen. They need to take some deep breaths. But do they have time? Do you have time to take a deep breath? Oh, um, well, you have to be a you have to be a mod to do it. Doug's the turn man. Thanks, okay. Doug. Uh, I'm out of kickstart. Oh no. I missed Denise. <laughs> turn four is four up on the light to or the fright tokens. It is a four, so they go off. There's only one over by Holden. It is a nine. <laughs> Horse. Enraged. Boxcar Willie is enraged. And that was my last fright token, so. I think. Is there one over by there? I think that one went away. Yeah. So one in B and one in C. Uh, boxcar Willie. It's going to be going for Ranger Sandy. Three inches gets there. Three inches. He comes in. She has six, so it automatically goes off on an 11. She takes oh, not a crit, though. three wounds. Or is it four? She's, she's going to take four, and she's bleeding each turn now, too. Man. Man. I don't know if I should have gone back in that building. It smells of delicious meats in there. There's so many meats. <laughs> uh, so we did see building activity. <laughs> Sandy's about to get chopped. She's about to get choo choo chopped, man. All right. Uh, Sign up for a time, furry. Sign up for a time. Okay. Yeah, Doug. Who would have thought chainsaws were so dangerous? Who knew? And uh, I don't know if we've, if we've had it happen before, but oh, if no. they, this, if this a light killer token. critical with their weapon, they do double damage. So in this case, he would do eight wounds on a critical hit and then they would bleed um and you die when you have 10 injuries so this uh or this light token flips at the end of what chainsaw willie's turn what's what's the distract rules mm -hmm. it's, it's move the killer within awareness right yes they have, he has to be within the character's awareness. Holden has such low awareness. He can't do it, but Seth could, I think. And distract is, a, is, is his quick action. Yeah. So Seth can make it. Okay, so Seth is going to distract the killer. Move the killer three inches. As he stumbles over a, a meat rack. <laughs> <laughs> and Willis is not my meat, boy. I'm coming for you. Uh, Seth is then going to knock and shout. Oh, that's a 14. So Seth's awareness is 13. Yep. So I'm gonna how use many, how many luck. terror does he have now? Oh, six. So for every point above his fright value he's also minus two to his actions seven so he's minus he's uh, it's seven for knock and shout then no okay okay i think i just have to run i think there is there is no chance i think we distract and we run i think that's all that we can do here He loves bellies, like pork bellies, and the old rump roast. 
One, two, three, four. Wait, can I even get out of this building at this point? Those doors aren't open. You might no. not even be able to. And You're holding, running into the trap. <laughs> Holden's combat is 12. His fright is only two over. Okay. I think this is doable. Set this bait. <laughs> okay. Oh. Sandy is going to just run away. She's going to run right around that corner. She, she's going to take, she gets a terror when she activates, she also gains an injury because she's bleeding. Yep. Sandy is not doing well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And a bleed. <laughs> Dark Tower Willy. So we meet again. <laughs> oh, oh, kind of hate it. And Doug comes in with it. You don't have to be faster than Willy, just faster than Seth. <laughs> Apparently not. Everyone's trying to be a hero right now. Uh, so I've lost track of, the, of Willy, though. So turn plus, please, to turn five. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Fright tokens automatically go off. First one moves at six inches. Next one moves six inches. It's going to be right in line with her. It's just going to get, like, right to the building. Yeah, right to the building edge. That's that. And now we're on the turn five killer phase. Willie is going to appear in front of the most characters and then choose, which has the most injuries, yep. right? Yep. Well, you can choose. So you just get to choose. So as the player for that particular one with direct, you can sort of decide who wants to, wants to come in after. So he's going to be right outside this doorway. Oh, thanks for the subscription. Uh, okay, let me get the good, good angle here. There we go. Brought <laughs> just too good. I mean, listen, it's, it's only going to be like 15 or 20 more minutes tops, because I'm yeah, slowly but... just getting massacred. Uh, which is the point of this. This is supposed to be a massacre. Yeah, and, and also... Just be thinking about the fact that that they got out on the first turn with that first roll. So if they hadn't and they were in that back room and Willie had gone in there, his chainsawing everybody within two inches for two points would have been absolutely disgusting. Okay, here we go. So he's placed and rolls two die. Oh, three and eight. Okay, well. So he moves in eight inches. I'm going to have him go after Seth. No! Yeah, it's my prerogative as a player. Seth has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven terror points. He's just getting hit, but is it a crit? It's a one. It's a two. Does he crit on a no! two? It's he one does, through three, right? Because, yeah, because he's always that way. So he hits Seth for a whopping eight points of damage, which instantly kills him. Seth yeah, instantly <laughs> just chainsaw through the belly, alien style. Game over, man. Game over. Game over. So you get Seth. Uh, Not you, Seth. And then whoever is within two inches gets hit. Is it Holden who's with them? Gets hit for two. Oh, jeez. You're right. I'm Moya Ginger Chicken. That's fresh cuts. <laughs> okay. Uh, um, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's seven fright. All right. No, sorry. I can get rid of these. That's seven fright on Sandy. So I think one more. No, she has ten. Okay, that's right. She's seen this before. So Sandy's going to activate. She gains two terror. One for slasher mode. Yeah. One for being next to that fright token. And an injury, because she's still bleeding. And an injury, and she can't have anyone let me take a look. She's going to die out in the parking lot all alone. 
She's gonna run eight inches. See if she trips and takes even more injuries. She does. Have I used her luck point? Yes, I did. Thanks, Thanks for the follow. It was Is slasher mode no every turn or just the first few? So in this game, we're using oh, slasher on every turn. It's this is every turn you gain that terror, uh, which makes this so brutal and hard. Yes, but boxcar Willy is designed to be the most brutal hard oh, scenario. Yes. And this one is supposed to be just a quick, just a bloodbath. So what happened to Sandy? Uh, she trips, uh, hits the ground, gains an injury. Does that kill her? Is she at ten from that? No, she's at eight. <sighs> Um, Holden is going to activate, gain a terror. He needs to get out of there, because at the end of turn 8, somebody has to be outside of the building. I think he's just going to loop the loo. <laughs> See a box car. He's going to run all the way back over here. Uh, see if he trips. He does not. So that's good. Oh, that's light turned back on. He's really yeah, I, was white. Gonna, I was just about to ask you that. Is that on so he might be able to run in there and Well, maybe. I doubt it. And oh that's, no. That's the end of turn five. So turn plus or on turn six. Fright tokens automatically go off. Rolling for this one first. It's a seven, which goes to an eight, so it moves six inches probably towards Sandy. Next one is a five. It moves six inches directly towards Holden. And yeah, it goes through walls. So it's like right on the other side of Boxcar Willie. <laughs> uh, uh, Mark Tower said clean up in aisle two. Aisle two and three. That's why he that's why Boxcar Willie likes the Astro Mark. It's much easier to clean than his old boxcar yeah, was. That place uh, is just full. <laughs> okay. Willie is now going to activate. He's moving nine or ten inches. Can anybody see him? Oh, no. So he just goes outside his front arc, right? Yeah, so now he's going to go back with most, since I think there's only two you can, you can pick. Well, Sandy has the most injuries. Yeah. Sounds good to me. We'll get Alice and Seth out of here. She's trying to run back to the car. She's trying so hard. And he comes out right from the other side of the vehicle. This is not good. This is not good at all. Oh, man. Doug said walk. hashtag Astro Mart Willie. Broadstone wants that as a shirt. I think that'd be amazing. <laughs> Astro Mart Willie is actually Boxcar Willie's twin brother. Yeah, the, the city. Wasn't there a city slicker version of Boxcar Willie that we thought of? <laughs> yeah, we were going to call him um, Subway Car Willie. Oh, yeah, that's right. Subway Car <laughs> Willie was Boxcar Willie's city slicker cousin. Uh, oh, man. Okay. So he comes out, he's going to move into base contact with her. This is like her squad car, she thinks she's going to get in there and use the radio to call for backup and really comes out from the other side. It's like, no, Revs the chainsaw just... off with her head, man. She's done. <laughs> she is done Zo. Oh man, Boxcar Willie is brutal. Amtrak Billiam. <laughs> Amtrak Billiam. <laughs> uh, Holden. Holden's gonna move one, two, three, four inches. And oh wait, and the light flips off. Yeah, so he thinks he's gonna head into the light and be safe, and then it flickers off, and there's nothing but the sound of rain outside. All right, all right, one, two, three, four. Uh. He does gain a terror. How many is he at now? A lot. That's that's the short answer. The actual answer is nine. 
and he's also a five. Yeah. So he's. Can he is he's okay is right now. it's it's true line of sight, right? Not line of sight within awareness. What for what? To for willing not to disappear. Yeah, so they actually have to be in line of sight. Yep. Okay, so I think what I can do then. And within the character's front arc, yes, if that's what you're asking. So it has right. to be in his front arc. So I think Holden yeah, is going to run. Thanks, Nick, for the subscribe. I don't know if you just said that, Connor, sorry. I did not. <laughs> Holden's going to double move. Because he'll be fine on Terra for the next round. And then he's, he's going to end facing Boxcar Willie. Staring him down, and that's he's cool got... because Holden's the other, like, He's the actual tough as nails character, so he's the last one standing in the rain. He he was running away, and then he heard the scream in the distance. Turned around. Oh yeah, thanks, Nick. Thanks for hopping in. Uh. Oh man. <laughs> Dark Tower with the jokes. Holden, cut it out. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! What's this? Thanks for the gifted subs. Who's, was that Nick? Nick? Nick with yeah, the Nick's five gifted subs? Out. Oh my gosh. Thank you, man. Thanks for coming by. Thanks for dropping the Thank massive you. sub gifts. Let's Everyone give, has the give, Seth uh, emotes that you can torture me with now. Yeah, let's, let's drop some Seth emotes there. Everyone hype up for SSP Nick. Nick, man. Yeah, thanks. Everyone hype up Nick with the Seth emotes. Thanks oh, a lot. Oh, we forgot he gets his, for the sub, he also gets his ch 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 Oh man. Okay. Uh, oh, Bradstone got one of those gifts. Yeah, Furry did too. Thanks so much. That's nice. awesome. Yeah, that's sweet. So he can see him. I think that's. I think this is going to be a clutch play. Yeah. What turn are we on right now? I don't know. Turn up. Turn plus for the next turn. Ooh, ooh. SSP Nick. Flashing some bling. Seven. You see Willie in the distance? Seven. I think we can. That's a good yeah, shot right the, there. Down. Yes. Um. <sighs> Fright tokens. They go off. First one, only one. It's inside the Astro Mart. It's a six. Just move to a seven. Move six inches. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. And this new measuring knife is so nice. That I don't I actually have to count the notches. To, Holden's gonna have to take a deep breath here. Um he will, but he's only at nine. So this this end of the fright phase, he doesn't succumb to fright. So uh, that, remember that that happens um, during the uh, first phase. Right, right. So, which we just did, and we're good. Yeah. yeah. Killer phase. So that'll be until next turn. Two d six. Two d six. Give me low rolls, please. Nine and a four. I can use one of Holden's luck on one of these, right? You can. And he's one of his luck. It's a three. So he only moves four inches. Oof. Okay. Uh, still in line of sight. It's now Holden's move. Holden activates, gains a terror. He's going to take a deep breath. Oh, and the light, too. So he activates and gains terror. He's going to move. I feel like oh, I, if, do I run to the light to remove terror? Or do I just, I think I just run to this back corner. You have to make it to the end of, at the end of turn eight. You have to survive turn eight. Right, so Willie only has one move left. If I run to the light, I think he can get there. But the light will still be on. Yes, okay, okay, Holden. Holden, my boy. Holden. Holden, first move into the light. 
And then he's going to take a breath, which means he removes two terror points, right? Yep. Removes two oh, terror it's, points. It's getting real. Still has line of sight. That is Holden's. Uh, okay. Turn. Oh, no. Oh, no. What if that fright token flips the light token? <laughs> Wait, can, can fright? Or is that just jump scares? That's just jump no, that's, scares. If, if it's removed, no, it's if, if the tokens are removed. Oh, the no. Also flips light oh, tokens. no. So it could. Oh, no. But you're okay. also adding one to fright token rolls because of uh, slash right. mode. So it does help with that, actually. Okay, turn plus. We're on turn eight. Already Here done. it is. <sighs> okay. Fright token roll right now. It's an eight. Never been so happy for an enraged boxcar willy in my life. <laughs> it gets removed. Place those even though I think I just won the game. Willy. Two dice. Thanks for the like, Tyler. Two dice coming in. Two and a nine. I'm using his second luck to reroll that. It's a ten. That's even worse. <laughs> 10 puts him uh, right at the edge of the light. So he just stares down a terrified, <sighs> wounded Holden. Oh, man. Just staring him down. Can't quite get there because of the light, but then the light flips off, and Holden says, see ya. See ya, punk. So, so as the light fades and flickers off, Willie backs into the darkness, Pulls out his toy train whistle and gives a little. Just walks right past him, back into his. He he respects. He respects Holden. Staring him down through the end, and Holden, at the end of turn eight, has survived. Dang, that was awesome. Man, <laughs> I honestly did not think I was going to survive that. And that's, and that's cool because Holden's special ability is actually tough as nails. So he is like the one out of them other than maybe Ranger Sandy who really should have should have made it out of there. So cool. Man, I feel like perhaps I have to main Holden now. I think Holden has to be my guy. I think Max is... Max had a shot, you know? Yeah, and Seth killed him too many times. Yeah. Holden. Maybe Holden and Boxcar Willie are in it together. No. Well, GG. Nice job, Connor. Oh, that was... That, that, that was actually stressful. Because if Boxcar Willie gets to you, you're dead. Period. Like, that's... It's game over, man.